Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are going to have a small presentation on automatic storage system. This is being presented by Pesmal from Finland. We are going in with a storage system at Italy by a company by name Bargo, where we have supplied an automatic storage system. What you see here is reels, paper reels, being taken out from the paper mill, and they are going to be stored in the vertical storage system but what you see is the top view of the stacker crane where roughly one to eight rows per cycle is able to be lifted together. In fact, what you see here is a car. The car is an AGV. It sometimes do not even have a cable. It is remote controlled so that it is able to go in deep. So this has a capacity of 32,000 tons, storage capacity, one of the largest for paper rails. This type of storage is possible mainly because the stacker crane is able to lift and store more than six rails at a time. This stacker crane has a very high speed, like 300 meters per minute travel speed and the vertical lift speed is like 180 meters per minute. So depending upon the number of storages and number of throughput, that is number of reels to be taken per hour in and out, the number of stacker cranes are desired. In this particular case we have two stacker cranes. And each stacker crane is like a computer where they know what is stored where and if the customer's driver scans the invoice on the scanner the stacker crane automatically lifts the particular reel or the set of reels and loads them on the conveyor and the conveyor has a system to load it on the truck automatically so to say the whole warehouse and loading system is without any people the accuracy of this type of stackers is like two or three millimeter in parking, which is possible because of some special coated wheels. And also the precise controls with laser or optical controls. You could see both the stackers working simultaneously. It is possible to store and dispatch similar or dissimilar items. If it is going to be dissimilar, the stacker crane does the homework in the night and stores such reels in the bottom rack so that they could pick up and load on the truck without any problem. There was a comparison made between the EOT crane type of storage and stacker crane storage and it was found that per ton the UOT crane costs roughly about 2.5 to 3 dollars for storage and dispatch whereas the stacker crane costs only 0.6 dollar. In the sense when the volume is more, when the throughput is more, stacker crane is far far efficient mainly because the power consumed is far less and also the reach is far more because in for such storage for a EOT crane, you may need about 8 EOT cranes to possibly transport 15 or 20 reels per hour. One more aspect about this type of storage system is the building is covered by the stack itself. In the sense, the roof is put on the stack so that there is no waste of money of building separate buildings. So, this is an advantage of having rack supported buildings. So, which invariably the redundant columns are avoided and what you are doing is instead of putting the steel on the columns you are putting them on the racks so it's a very sensible way of spending and uh, people who know the value of it definitely go for a vertical storage system so 
here it has got a 260 reels per hour capacity of retrieval in the sense it's probably the highest in the world. It is possible because of the type of the crane which could handle multi reels. What you see is a lamella conveyor. 